All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. It is time for the final. I need to go move Trey's camera. <laughs> Trey is so stinky <laughs> dull. I got to go move his camera. Give me one second here, and we'll update his name. Yep. All right. We're going to be looking at a final of Palpatine and Krennic deck we just took a look at. Mm -hmm. So we've seen Trey earlier on stream. Give me a moment. I'm going to go move that camera for him. Just sure. So Palpatine we've seen, Krennic we've seen, we just saw. Uh, the other thing Wes was commenting on is we're seeing two 25 HP bases go against each other for the first time today. Um, and both of them energy conversion lab. So this is going to be interesting. I, I don't know that I've watched a single game of this matchup. Because these are kind of two under ooh oh that hurt don't do that again <laughs> ow that hurt just ran my knee to the table oh um, that felt bad. fabulous <sighs> these are two kind of underrepresented decks um you know credit got real popular he early did, on did. because of the poll that big tournament in poland right um but that Palpatine was a has control. never remotely been popular right but that that version of the credit deck was way more hard control than, it was than, than, the than what we're seeing andrew play 100 percent, 100 percent that version was significantly much harder. So yeah, control. I don't think I've ever watched this matchup. It's going to be entertaining. Um, you know, I one of the things that I have enjoyed. You know, uh, uh, I think if you had told me at the beginning of the day that double, uh, I'd be looking at a double green deck in the final. I think I probably mm -hmm. would have called you a liar. Right. Um, command is arguably the strongest aspect currently in the game, but usually it doesn't have the oomph to push through kind of stuff on its own. Not fast enough, let's say. Mm -hmm. And we're absolutely not seeing that the way, the way that, that Trey builds and plays this deck. Right. So I'm really curious to see. But this is going to be the first time today we started with both players on 25 health. It's going to be curious to see how kind of they navigate, uh, navigate this mess. It really is. <laughs> Last match of the day underway in moments here. See, it's so chat's talking about double green is super strong. And it's interesting. It it feels that way, but it also feels like it's taken. It can't it, like if you hit the ramp cards. Well, but there's not that much ramp in his deck. Trace. He plays three commands and three EC, three super laser techs, and one resupplies in the sideboard. Yeah, That's okay. it. But what I'm getting at is is it feels like it's taken players myself included mm -hmm. right i want not some kind of savant or something here at this game but it feels like it's taking people a while to kind of wrap their brains around that and kind of figure it out sure um and so um trey's one of the few people i've seen mess with this locally and it's been a tremendous amount of fun to kind of watch his evolution with yeah it, it definitely has All right, last match of the day. Guys, appreciate you joining us here with... Uh, oh, Trey, Ro Trey with the big snake eyes. Yeah, okay. Right. Well, I'm just going to keep that initiative token. Um, appreciate you joining us here for our, our initial kind of, you know, uh, coverage, uh, doing this sort of thing on my channel. Going to be hoping to do a lot more of this. Yeah. I keep trying to get you to come over to the house. I'm, I, I, I know. Hey, I'm starting that new job. I, I was going to uh, say, you, you've got a new job correct, now, right? Yeah, so, so I'm going to start. I'm starting the 10th. So 10th of June, 10th of okay, June. Okay. Brilliant. Now I am going to, I'm moving. So I kind of want to work on the yeah, weekend. That's, that's kind of important. Make some extra money. I'm going to sit on one of these stools over here. My camera's shooting in my crotch the entire time. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. That was distracting, but okay. Oh, I, was, okay. I broke rule number one. I should never have done that. Yeah. But okay. All oh, right. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. So getting right into it, Inferno 4, Wolf Yularen. <laughs> I'm, I'm, my brain is still trying to expunge the last. Hey, <laughs> it happens. It's like, Jason, why'd you have to stick your head in and say something? Yeah, you know. Oh, man, goodness. But yeah, we should work on that because the setup that we're using today is, is something that I built in the studio mm -hmm. right at the house. And this is the first time I'm, I'm using it, much less taking it on the road. Right. So clearly a lot to, a, a lot to learn here. Um, oop. there we go. Put it in the, put the damage in the wrong place. 
Trey's going to forgo you, Lauren, and just grab the initiative. Yeah, he's got the cell block guards in the way. It doesn't have a good way to Yeah, it's not it. really. doesn't make much sense. Either. Nah. Yep. He's going to go ahead, of course, smash the, the sure. uh, super laser deck into the guard. Get rid of that. Get that, get that problem solved. Get his ramp going there. Now a resource ahead. Yep. Take out Wolf. Andrew, make the trade. No, it's a good call. Over time, Wolf becomes ugh, another mm -hmm. Inferno Trey, Force yeah. deal. Trey loves doing he this. He really does. Oh, but then we're just going to see Power of the Dark Side take it out. <laughs> so he's going to traitorous it and then destroy his own unit, basically. Yes. <laughs> you know what, though? I think if you trade, you take that trade. Oh, yeah, you take that. You, it just it just clears the clears the unit clears the board of something else in your way. All right. Tarkin. Tarkin. That's curious. There's only one of those in trays deck. I think that's what we've kind of seen look, with with Tarkin and then the counter being Mon Mothma. Um, players really cut those down, either cut them completely or go down to a single copy. Coming out with a relentless and a royal guard. Krennic coming out of the field. Krennic and Tarkin. <laughs> How very thematic, ladies very. and gentlemen. Trey takes the initiative. ECL's going to swing in here. And there's the, there's the steadfast to just go ahead and clear out Tarkin. And that should be, what, four overflow, I think? Uh, Yes. And then what? Two more out of four two more, more out of Krennic. Out of Krennic. Four more, oh, oh, okay. He's giving. I apologize. Correct. He's giving the buff to Krennic. Correct. Yeah. Either way, the damage total is the same. Correct. I haven't seen Trey have his board empty this late in any of his starts that I can think no. of. Usually the trader is, is able to kind of help keep things that, mm -hmm. you know, that minus one for them, plus one for you usually In the helps. matches we saw, that's for sure. Yeah. Krennic into Steadfast. I think Trey is thinking about what he's trying to resource here. Yeah, because he's, he's a resource up, but I don't see seven down. There it comes. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. He's going to use his own ECL and ECL and a Rook to clear out the Steadfast Battalion. So that'll just pop Oop. the shield. That is the wrong. That is the wrong button. Super laser comes down for Andrew. Trey takes the initiative and then we'll see. Then, get a, then we get a probe droid. Uh, probe droid. Couldn't really make out Trey's hand there. Glare on the camera. Yeah, I gotta. I need to. I need to. I need to spend a little more time figuring out camera positions and right. lights in that room. Uh, there's plenty of light. But right. It's. I've got to. I've got to pick a different table position next time. Makes I think. sense. It's all right. Lessons learned. Lessons learned. Exactly. I was also a little hamstrung by where the plugs were. <laughs> I told Jason when I came in this morning. I was like, "Look, I've got two, two places I want to put." This, mm -hmm. you know, and and it was basically based on the plugs, right? Right, makes sense. Yeah, and, and chat's pointing out I, I, a filter on the lens is probably also not right. a bad idea. I do own a few of those. So we're gonna see a traitorous on the turbo laser technician. He loves doing that. Oh yeah. And then he's gonna then smash, the droid smash, hits pro droid smash rook. The beauty of doing that with the super laser tech is that as soon as it is when he dies, he becomes Trey's resource, not right. Andrew's, which is a fun interaction. The first time he did that to me, I was actually enraged. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? That's how that works. Yeah. That's garbage. <laughs> and nope, that's exactly how that works. Trey's going to take his last three. Hey, Give us a cell block, block guard. guard. For 
protect his. That's actually seven. That's got to be a Vader. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. There it is. Old Dark Lord's going to swing in from the right hand side of the board and turn that cell block guard into a pile of paste. And then surely looking for his own cell block guard, but doesn't seem to find it. Doesn't no, but he's got a he's got a death trooper in there, which is not a bad pickup, no. frankly. Rook he, has six health or five health? Rook has six health, but okay. he could put the damage on Krennic, buff True. Krennic up a little bit. Yeah, the direct damage off the Death Trooper is unfortunately not going to get him anything here. Right. But it's probably the best, based on what the little glancing look that I caught, it's probably the best option he's For got sure. here. Nope. Oh, okay. Oh, no, he's got an Inferno 4 in there. That's also, also pretty solid. I missed that. So in Trey's hand, it looks like we're looking at a Relentless. I saw an Overwhelming Barrage as well. And Oh, and he's got that guard. Yeah, remember he fished the guard of the Relentless That's out earlier right. with Tarkin. Andrew debating here. He's probably he's got at least two good options. He seems to be deciding on one. Right. Seems to settle on Inferno Four. That'll let him take a peek if he wants with Inferno Four's win played ability. Right. Looks like they're going to skip right past that though, as Trey's going to Trey's going to smash the uh, super laser tech into Tarkin. Who then swings back for three to knock out Rook. Makes sense. And just like that, Trey had started to build a board presence, and now it is gone. He's going to bring out Palpatine, steal Vader. That makes sense. Yep. And we'll see an initiative change. Four to base. Oh, no, he's going to take Palpatine and smash Krennic off the board. Yep. There we go. So not really much of a base damage round, really. There, whole bunch of yeah, whole bunch of board trading. trading. And... That was really interesting, though. Mm -hmm. A lot of back and forth. Yeah. Trey going up to ten now. So the relentless in his hand was already in play. Already, already technically uh, available to him. Now one of his devastators could come out of the board if he if he finds one. Another Vader. Another Vader. Ooh, I think he whiffed. No, surely not. Yeah, he did. Not a single thing. Not a single thing. Wow. Unfortunate for Andrew. Yeah, that is. No Death Troopers, no Cell Block Guards, guards wow, in, wow, or no wow, Inferno. Wow, well, wow. the Inferno 4 doesn't do him any good. Yeah. Nothing in that pile. Presumably so. going to go ahead and uh, take take his Vader back. Yep. Trey, of course, has Vaders of his own in his deck we haven't seen yet. Hold on. He's going to spend... He's debating what to spend. He's contemplating. Mm -hmm. Five. I think we're going to see OB. Five yeah, for the there overwhelming. It there it is. So he's got six damage to shell out. And he's going to send two and three and clean up Andrew's board. And Andrew's tapped that, or Andrew has one resource. One left. Trey's got some to spend. Still got five over there. Plus yeah. Palpatine swinging Plus in for six. Palpatine swinging for six. Two for Wolf hey. for a heal of one. And there's the swing with Palpatine. First damage that Trey has landed yet. Right there. Right. <laughs> Andrew's still on the button. Holding initiative as we head into the next turn. Running the numbers, figuring out if we're going to see the Avenger. No, reinforcement yeah. walker. Yeah. Going ahead and. I'm going to go ahead and discard whatever that was. Uh, Star Viper. Ah, I got rid of a Star Viper for a quick heal of three. 
Ooh, and Relentless coming down for Trey. Yep. I still love that card. I'm glad people are kind of discovering it finally. Yeah. It feels like it was very overlooked for a while. And getting a heal with Yularen. Speaking of Yularen. Putting a whole pile of damage into the base there. What's that total of nine? So we should be down to... There we go. Andrew holding on a relent, holding, sitting on a relentless of his own. I think I see a cell block guard as well. Uh, yes, I see a cell block guard and a relentless. So he's wipe out Yularen. Yularen. See what he does with his his trigger. He's going to. He's going to draw that draw card. It. Okay. Let's keep that one. Relentless puts eight to base. Only eight health left for Andrew. His own Relentless, making it a... No, that's Avenger. Avenger, excuse me. Now Trey has a very difficult decision to make. Or is it, it, is, it is Trey's decision? It's Trey's decision. That's what I thought. It, it works like Power of the Dark Side. You get to, Correct. Yeah. But is it non-leader? Um, I don't know, I don't actually. So. I should have pulled the card up. Why don't we do that? But I think... I think it has to, yeah, non-leader. Oh, it is. So non -leader. it must be so, a non-leader. Oh, so we okay. can't. He okay, can't clear okay. Palpatine. At this exact instant, Trey has the possibility to win on just Palpatine alone, but it would take him a couple of rounds. Well, no, because the reinforcement walker is going to yeah. probably come in with a heal or two. Command. Okay. So probably so we're going yeah, for two experience tokens on Palpatine. And then what are we doing for the rest? Returning unit from his yeah. discard pile to his hand. I'd imagine it's like the cell block. Nope, okay. he's going to grab yeah, Relentless. That makes sense, too. I guess maybe he has nothing else big in his hand at the moment. No, I guess the cell block isn't great. Yeah. And he's playing another command? Um, yeah, no. he play, yeah, he's playing another command oh, to yep. buff up Palpatine. Once he plays the then, second command, Palpatine's going to swing in for eight, yeah. and that is the game. Wow. Wow. There you go. Okay. Trey. Trey with game one. Amazing. <laughs> that was really, really fascinating to watch. And again, because again, I don't think I've ever watched the, 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 this matchup before. It is... Um, it is interesting to see these two decks kind of go at each mm -hmm. other, right? It's not... I guess one of the things that I like about watching Palpatine play is that it's very... You know, when you watch a Sabine deck, um, or almost any red kind of aggro deck, it's it's you go for the jugular. You go for the jugular. Always attacking the base. Mm -hmm. Base, 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 base. But with these guys, with these decks, they're having to make much more interesting decisions about, you know, do I make this attack against the base or against the unit? Trey did very little damage until, like, what, the last the last five turns of that game? Yeah, five to six turns, first, it really kind of all kind of came were, in. Yeah, we're him just kind of making trades, controlling mm -hmm. the board. He just did a lot of board control and trading and just holding the line. All Again, talk about, just like you talked about earlier in the day, like a control deck. Mm -hmm. Even though it's double green, there's not a single element of blue anywhere in it. Right. It's the way you're forced to pilot it, let's say. Right, right. It, it plays a little like a control deck because you're playing for that late game state. Correct. Both players sideboarding here. We'll let them uh, make their choices. Actually, you know, I'm going to use a scene today that I haven't used as much of as I thought I would, which is right here. I've got a fancy head-to-head -head scene that, if I had set the cameras up correctly, oh, would hey. actually show them like uh, like looking at each other. But of course, <laughs> like a dumb like a numb skull, I outthought myself. Yeah. Well. So, well, I've learned a lot. lot I've learned a morning. lot today. Sure. Let me put it this way. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> I've learned a lot today. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. 
it has been it has been good times, but it has been yeah. Frustrating. This has been super fun. Thanks again for inviting me on to do this. You're welcome. I'm glad you I'm glad yeah. you're able to make it. Yeah, this has been really really fun. And, and once you so t- talk tell me more about your move. You're in a moving. Yeah, and... so we're gonna move um in September. Oh, you so got I, some time then, but so, you got you got to get packed. You got to find a place, I presume. And all no, that we already signed a. Oh, um, we're not buying a home. Yeah, because, leasing. Yeah, at least leasing a townhome. Okay, nice. Waller. Oh wow, way out in town. Wait, way out. Well, I mean. People say it's way out there. It's only another 20 minutes past the outlet mall. That's less, true. Less than 20 minutes past the outlet mall. That's true. Um, out past Farfield? Yeah, past okay. Farfield. That's where I grew up at. I grew up out there. Okay. At Fairfield. Um, and so it's really not that bad. Plus, like, they've done a lot of work on 290 over the years. They have. It's, it's, not, it's not, not a bad drive. No, it's not. All right. Um, well, listen. At some point, we should chat. Yeah. We should chat because I what I'm what I want to try and do now that I've kind of got this set up functional and – when I when I set this up on the table at home, mm-hmm. I'm I do not intend to do all the you know pulling up cards every time yeah, somebody yeah, plays yeah. stuff. But the bottom line is that you can still do. We could still just sit around and just and and it's it's almost more fun when you're not commentating a game. Right. You're just like, hey, let's try something and let's talk through it. And you can talk oh, yeah. about the plays you're making right. and while you're doing it and yeah. talk through. It. And I find that to be just a really refreshing oh, way yeah. to test and, out and, deck and ideas. And you know what's funny? That's something that with this game. I have not done a lot of is mm-hmm. the walking through those games yeah. open handed. Yeah. Um, and really talking through like the decision making process. Um, and I would love to do more of that. And I think while that would have been interesting in this first set, there's a lot of predictability. Not in these decks, because these are like underrepresented kind of especially Palpatine kind of. I would say Critic, wackiness. I wouldn't say that about necessarily, but Palpatine for sure. Right. So It'll be so much fun to do that kind of thing in the beginning of the next set. I agree. And and really learn the new card pool and uh, yeah. get to see it that way with pl- playing open handed and, and talking through the decision making process with both players. Yeah. Of, well, if you would do that, this is what I have. So maybe you don't. And maybe you know that I have this, you know. <laughs> yeah. Talk, talk or you suspect that it's in my right. deck or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> But yeah, that's something. What I want, what I'm thinking about trying to do is set up um, like one night. Like right now, I do boats. I, I stream World of Warships one yeah, night a week. Right. Um, I've been streaming Civilization mm-hmm. six one night a week. What I'm thinking about is maybe kind of. I'm not sure about Civ, but I want what I want to be doing is I want to be doing more stuff in that studio. Sure. And even if I did just you know one night a week or two nights a month or something mm-hmm. down in there yeah. where we did this, just let's just come around and you know. BS and play yep. some games. You bring whatever jank pile you want to build and I'll sure. build whatever jank pile yeah, I want to absolutely. build and let's go play. Yeah, I'm down. You know, um, maybe we're working on something. Maybe we just want to see how something works. Yeah. You know, I look at I, I, some of the spoilers for the next set. You know, you look through some of the clone cards mm-hmm. and I look at these, like a lot of folks I think are, I won't say down on them, but skeptical, skeptical, skeptical is a great word. Yeah. And, and I think I'm still in that boat. But when they sh- when they were when they when they s- spoiled Marauder the other day, mm-hmm. and I realized with Hunter and Marauder there were mechanics for you to take um, units that were dead in your discard pile, put them back into your resource stack, and then work them back into your hand. Yes, I was like, oh, this is actually kind of interesting mm-hmm. now. Yes, there's multiple links in this chain that are breakable and stuff, but the fact that you can engineer it i was like huh yeah this clone thing may not be as trash as it first looks see and i'm glad you're excited about that i don't know i'm excited about it but i thought it was interesting great you thought it was interesting (laughs) it's not interesting doesn't interest you at all no it's not my jam (laughs) uh and i also don't really have too much of an attachment to those characters the one that i'm excited about is wrecker because he's just like (laughs) crazy red dude like he's just on his own he's just kind of crazy uh being a, a red hero player, I was very excited to see yes. a, a top end. It wouldn't that be nice because Zeb does not feel like that no, guy. No, he does. Zeb has never felt, which is a shame. Right. I wanted Zeb to be yeah, that guy. I would He's love really Zeb felt like to that be guy. Kind of, if Zeb had been at the power level that I perceive Wrecker to be at, mm-hmm. um, yeah, would have been way more exciting. Yeah, for sure. Now, Chad's talking about streaming draft and sealed. Um, one of the things that I have considered doing, and I got to talk to Jason about this, and we'll see. I've thought about trying to, to stream the pre-release event. That would be fun. Um, at the same time, I almost kind of wonder if there's a ton of value in it, right? I mean, 
Yeah, you I mean, everybody's, the by then the whole set will be spoiled. Yeah. We're not really going to be showing anything. I mean, you'll be seeing people play with the new stuff. Right. I will say. But how familiar are we going to be in the cards to kind of talk about them? Basically that's, very little. Right. right? That, like that's, that's, what, that's what I kind of That's see. the struggle, I yeah, think. Yeah. Um, draft, I think, is a little different. Like, I would love to stream draft. I think draft is a ton of fun. Yeah, I think that would um, be I fun. think there are plenty of great cards that are mediocre in, in mm -hmm. constructed or average, whatever, that are in draft are just amazing. True. Um, but sealed, I think, becomes a much more challenging, especially the pre-release stuff. Yeah, so we'll have to see. Just, I'm not going to be think as through familiar that. with all the cards yet. Um, and with a draft, it would just be super exciting because... You know, going into these matches, we have an idea of what these decks look like. Yes. Even without seeing the deck. List. Right. But in a draft, we have no idea. Now, the one thing we could have done while we were sitting here, um, and I'll put it up. Put it up in a little bit. Oh, talking about maybe what they is sideboarded. deck list. Yeah, I, I should have thought to look at what they sideboarded, sideboarded and we could have had a talk through that because I've got the list, everything yeah. ready to go. I think they're getting ready to um, go here. Um. Trey did have some wonky stuff in his sideboard. Well, here, let's have, let's go have a quick peek. Yeah, we got. I think we got a few. Even if we miss like their their first couple of plays. So there's there's the side there's there's. I'm sorry, that's the wrong bloody that's deck. A one. That's the other deck. And My that's kind of what. There we go. There's Trey's deck. Okay. Oh, you can't see it up there. My bad. There we go. There we go. So there's Trey's deck. Okay, a change of heart. That one-off change of heart. I think you think he puts the other Devastator in? I don't know. I think he puts He definitely went for the pro I definitely thought I saw him swap some probe droids in. Yeah. Well, let's get back to yeah, this because they are they are into the into the game, and let's be honest, that's why folks are here. <laughs> so we've got a Piet on the left hand side of the board there coming in. And a resupply for Andrew. Get swings in for one, and we get a Star Viper. Turn three, Krennic comes out right away. Going to the base doesn't do you anything because Krennic will just heal it right back. Mm -hmm. Of course, they could they could have a little slap fight if they wanted. I deal one to you. Yeah. I deal two to you. <laughs> couple of couple of uh, proper Imperial admirals just slapping each other around. Like you almost get the sense like the duel, right? The little black like takes his glove off and like mm -hmm. slaps the other guy across the face. Yeah, right? <laughs> I Absolutely. challenge you to a duel. <laughs> Trey, I guess really not having any kind of well, solid seeing, play. He's got he's got a super laser tech I in see there. That. And is that a wolf or a Yalarin rather? I can't tell. I mean, the Vader's pretty obvious. I mean, what I would do here. I would do that, and then I would use Palpatine and murder him. For sure. That's what I would do. Yeah. He... Okay, we're seeing. Yep, we're going to see the the Steadfast Battalion. This is this is the consistent consistent play that we and keep seeing strong... out of Andrew. He's now done this like three times. Yeah. That's just such a strong play. It's so great. And then we're going to so comes see... in with seven, so three overflow onto Trey's base, Correct. but only one back for the battalion, and it even pumps it up a little bigger because of Krennic. So nasty. That is gross. Palpatine. There we go. The technician. I I love doing that, frankly. Uh, Krennic coming in. Healing up. Two more to Trey's base. And Trey taking the initiative. So he'll be able to get that healing out of the Star Viper now. Uh, he's probably going to need it. Yeah, he's already on the <laughs> on the back foot. A bit that's here. that steadfast is going to hurt big yeah. when it swings in. Chat asking if players have to use the same deck throughout the entire tournament. The answer there is yes. So command coming down. 
And he's able to kill the um, Steadfast Battalion with uh, uh, the damage effect off of the Star Viper. Off the Star Viper and then resource the command. Not bad. Ramp working really well for Trey's up two resources yeah. here as Power of the Dark Side comes in and cleans up the Star Viper before he, he can get and a heal off Yularen of it. And will come down for Trey. You got a Yularen and then a resupply. I said Trey was up two resources. That's a lie. That's the second resupply that Andrew has played. Both, both of them on seven resources now. Frenick swinging into the base. Trey keeping initiative going into the next round. I'm seeing Vader and Tarkin in Trey's hand, but I think that's all he's got. Yeah. I'm Tarkin, betting I'm Tarkin betting not, we'll see Tarkin here. Yeah, Tarkin not bad to have. No, he did draw into a not sure how I missed that one there. Um choosing to resource the relentless. Nope, he's gonna go straight to Vader. He's gonna heal one off of Yularen. Mm-hmm. And depending on what he comes out with, he might get another heal off Yularen. True. He will. There it is. Coming in with the Royal Guard. What a board state. Just like that. And then he'll hit Krennic for five. <laughs> Vader, Vader smacking Krennic. Yeah. Again, how thematic. Very thematic. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And he's also now ready. Palpatine can come out at any time. He's got, yeah. eight, he's got eight on the board. Yep. The double. Well, he had one command and, and one super laser tech. And he's... He's up that quickly. Seven for seven for. Hey, hey, this looks familiar. Yeah. Second verse, same as the first. So Andrew will at least be able to clear the royal guard, get it out of his way. And it's going to take all really his power great, to do it. And, though. Yeah, and it's not really a great target for uh, trade of steel. No. Palpatine. No, not particularly. Because he can't steal the Vader because he's already got one. Mm-hmm. I mean, he could. His Vader will die. Somebody's Vader one will of, die. One of the he'll, Vader's he'll, will die. He'll get to choose which right, one, right? Correct. Yeah. Andrew grabbing a cell block guard out of his deck. So now Trey having to think through his next move here. If he attacks with Ilarn, he has to go into the, block, the cell block guard. Mm hmm. You can't do that. Yeah. He's not seeing it. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Plan B. <laughs> yeah. Plan B then. Trey seeing red wanting to get Krennic off the board. <laughs> I don't blame him. I mean, I want to get Krennic off the board too. But unfortunately, not a legal play. He's going to use one. He's going to sacrifice Vader. What? To deal, to one, deal damage one damage to, to the to cell block he guard. Wants he then... wants to steal the cell block guard. No, to deal one damage to Krennic and to draw a card. And then I guess he's going to... Oh, he's, he's gonna... now now he's going to steal Vader. He's going to steal Vader? Now he's going to steal Vader. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Now I, now I he's see He's gotten the value out of his own. He's gotten value out of his... This is that instant where I wish I had the mic. I had them mic'd up and I could yeah. hear what they were talking about. That's the next again. That's the next evolution of the setup. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious as to what they're discussing there. Yep, credit coming Something in for a three. The cell block guard. So yeah, there it is. Palpatine. Yep. Stealing. Palpatine comes out, takes the Vader, and Andrew will take the initiative. You take the initiative, Palpatine, and Yularen and he's swinging. Just clear the board. You'll... Oh, okay. Yularen's going to kill the. Um... Or Vader kills the cell block guard. Yularen. No, kills. Vader was already tapped. Oh, so sorry. The, Palpatine kills the cell block guard. Okay, and then Yularen goes into the and base. Then oh, Yularen, and then Yularen finishes off Krennic. There yes, we go. There we go. There we go. Took me a minute to kind of keep up with everything that just happened. Yeah, it's been a long <laughs> day, folks. Trey in a decent position, but we've seen how quickly the game state can change. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Speaking of, here's 7 4. Vader. Hey, that guy looks familiar. We have seen 
more Dark Lord of the Sith today than I think I had anticipated. Mm-hmm. I was expecting this to be the to be Boba be Fest. The Boba show. Yeah, it was yeah. going to be the Boba show, and it has not been. It has been the Vader show. The 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 Imperial mm-hmm. in me is extremely <laughs> happy with this 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 situation. So we see the Viper Pro Droid, and then taking a look at Trey's hand, I think he, I saw. I saw. I caught a glimpse of a Tarkin. I saw Tarkin escort Skiff. Okay. I thought I saw a reinforcement Walker. Okay, so with Vader's one plate action completed, he's going to ambush the there other go. Vader. There we go. The other Vader. Trey on nine resources, figuring out what he's going to do. Looks like we're going to ECL something. Four for a Tarkin. Finish off the Vader. I'm going to grab two units out of the top five, up to two Imperial units out of the top five cards. He's got a Devastator in his hand, and I saw a Royal Guard in there. But he's going to go with Vader and Devastator. Hitting that Tarkin in both games now. He's only got the one in there, and right. it's been it's paid. It's been money both it, games. It, it has been. Tarkin is one of those cards that I love, and I've never understood why he doesn't get he doesn't get more play. There's so many strong Imperial units, especially in some of and these he builds. Has, right? He's way better stat. He's his stats are way better than Mon Mothma. Yeah. There's the escort skiff as Trey finally pushes Palpatine through into the base for some damage. What were you saying? Comparing him to Mon Mothma? The, the, he, he, his stats are more attractive than Mon He's 2-3 and Mothma's 1-4, I Correct. think. Yeah. 1-4 is just... 1-4 feels terrible. It does. 1-4 really <laughs> <does. four> feels <laughs> terrible. <laughs> like it feels awful on Akbar too. Yeah, it absolutely Akbar does. Because Akbar has a, like a, a, a fun ability. 3-6-4... A Vigilance. He's going to wipe out the Skiff and heal five. Again, this this game just feeling a lot like the last game. And then Palpatine immediately puts it right back. Trey coming in with the Reinforcement Walker. Apologies, what were you saying? Again, it's just the the game is this back and forth, this trading. Mm -hmm. both, Both players trying to establish a board state, trying to get to big pieces that the other player can't respond to. Um, been really exciting. I gotta say, if I'm Trey, I think I'm sitting on that Devastator waiting for an Avenger to show up. Yeah, I think so. I'm just wait. I'm camped on it. So yeah, it's just one of his he, only tools to deal that with. Just, that card just stays in my hand until I see Avenger. Because he's already used Pal- Palpatine. The only other thing that he has that could kind of sort of deal with it is the change of heart. Simple Vanquish gets rid of the Walker, Palpatine going through to the base. Death Trooper coming in. Two damage to each of the ground units in the on the board. Three, six, seven. There's that Vader we saw Trey grab earlier. He's got at least one Veer. He's got some good options in there because he's got a Veers and a Consortium Star Viper. Of course, mm-hmm. he's not sitting on the initiative. And you, Lauren. Some good picks he... in there. I wonder if he takes Veers. Yeah, there it is. Yep, he's going to grab Veers. Time to start pushing some damage. It's not a bad play. He's going to wipe out the Death Trooper and take four back. Also just messes with math. What? Oh, Veers. Plus, yeah, yes. plus one health. Yes. New round. Ooh, there's that change of heart. Chad asking about the comparison between Veers and Mon Mothma. I mean, Tarkin and Mon Mothma. Tarkin allows you to pull two Imperials. Mon Mothma allows you to pull two Rebels. So they're textually Actually, aren't they? They're basically the same. I thought Mothma is, just one. Is it? I thought Mothma was two. Eh, it's been two. Okay, long. I don't. I don't. I don't have the card in my hand. So, right. all right. So we vigilanced to get rid of Vader and to heal five. Palp's going to swing in for put to put the five back. Yeah, Mon Mothma is actually just one. Oh, and oh. she's actually a one three. Ah, okay. So that one attack. She's also cheaper. 
She yes, costs she, three, whereas costs Tarkin three. costs four. Right. Regular Steadfast Battalion. No fancy leader shenanigans coming in here. Veer's going to swing in for three of his own. Trey still hasn't used any of his resources this round. Going to let it ride. Let it go. A lot of players, I think, I'm not sure I would have the patience to play this way. Right? Where Trey's just like, no, you know what? I'm just, I'm not going to play any cards out of my hand. Yeah. I, I'm not it's sure even I can do that. It's a mindset you have to adopt and, and be, feel comfortable doing that. I mm -hmm. think it, it creates like, um, like some self-inflicted anxiety on yourself to feel like you didn't spend all your resources. Sometimes ah. I get that way. Chat's, chat's pointing out Mothma actually costs two. So she literally is half the cost of yeah. Tarkin. So, okay. Okay. Only grabs one card. Mm-hmm. Battalion clearing veers off the board. Feels like Trey needs to put something out here at some point. Not sure. Oh, all right. Overwhelm. <laughs> yes. I knew there was. I knew there was a reason he was putting damage on his base. Hey, Ty advanced. Ty advanced buffing up how Knew he had those in there. First yeah. time we've seen one today. Two experience tokens going to Palpatine. Go for Papa Palpatine. Death Trooper put some more damage on him. Palpatine swinging into the base for six here. And you're down to single digits. That's 17. I'm off by one. There we go. And a Relentless. Now, Trey does not play event-heavy decks. So Relentless really... He does have that change of heart, though. So he's got to make if sure... If he, he subbed it in. It was in his sideboard. I know, board. I saw him draw it. Oh, does he? Oh, he's I got in his hand? Draw, yeah. Oh, interesting. So he's just got to make sure he maths right. Well, he's got to be able to play another event in front of it, but he only has his deck. He, the only events he has in that deck is yeah, that's true. three commands and three, three overwhelming barrages. He doesn't, right. he's not playing an event heavy deck. I see it now. You're right. It's yeah. on top of his hand. So he did sub it in. Just going to grab the initiative. I think Trey has to, I don't think he can sit on the devastator anymore. I think he's got to bring it out now to clear relentless. Off yeah, the board. I think so. I mean, I, I still think I still wish he could. You know, I would say wish he could. I, in his mm -hmm. shoes, I would still prefer to wait to hold it for a Eight, Avenger, 10. but it's, he's got to bring it out yeah, now and clear this out. Yeah, blast it. Yeah, not a card you see often, but when it does come in, it does horrible, painful things. Said Fast Battalion finally going to clean up Papa Palpatine. Who's done a lot of work. I guess that's one of the things, one of the other things about Palpatine, right? At 410, Ooh, you Trey get a ton of work out of that guy. Yes. Especially if you can buff him up even a little bit. Yeah. Um, or even just Veers being on the board and like, now this dude's an 11 health. Yeah, he's 5'11". <laughs> like, just crazy. You get so much value out of it because it's just so hard to, to kill. With. Hmm? A lot of stats to contend with. Yeah, there's just a, like, a lot of big numbers you got to deal with. For, for a simple guard. cell block guard. There's the Avenger. There's the Avenger. So he, I think he kills the cell block guard, honestly. I, yeah, see? Because I think you just want he wants to push a little bit of damage. Do you know, well, let's see. Avenger is eight eight. I didn't I didn't put it yes. out there. She's eight eight, right? Yeah. I think you, you push do. I think you push. Damage. I think you push a little damage to the and base then here. Probably Take the. I think you need. I think he needs. To, oh, yeah. that's gonna hurt. And then he's gonna lose the Tie Fighter when yeah, Avenger swings but he in. Keeps, but yeah. Or no, he can't. He's not gonna lose the Tie Fighter. Devastator has Sentinel. Oh, oh but, it, but but oh, but Avenger. That's the trick. So that's the that's the pain of Avenger, though. right? Right. 
But actually, it's smart because, well, it's the, uh, we'll see how he plays it. You're right. He won't lose the TIE Fighter unless he, because Avenger can only attack the Correct. Devastator. Which, of course. So he defeats that, and then Devastator and then eight, And then eight. eats eight. And then, he and then swings, swings to the base for 10, and that's, and that's it. There it was. Game. Wow. Solid for Palpatine, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. A 2-0 here. Yeah. Most people with Avenger, they'll just defeat the unit that Devenger eclairs an attack on. Right. Right? Because that way the ability mm -hmm. is just wasted with the damage. Right. But of course, Devastator can just soak it up and be yep. like, I don't care. <laughs> One of the few units in the game that doesn't care. Yep. Yep. Wow. Well, there we go, what ladies and gentlemen. Match. What a match. That is it. That congrats is it, Trey. Trey. Huh? I said congrats to Trey. Absolutely. Well, congrats to both. They both yeah. played really well. Yeah, those were those were both very clean games. That, yeah, where I, I mean, we're not privy to hearing them, but howdy, no worries. Uh, but yeah, Trey and um and Andrew, Trey and Andrew both going to the top two, but yeah. Trey and Palpatine walking out of here with a store championship. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. That is great. I'm excited. Yeah, I want to go build this deck now. <laughs> Seriously, man, I want to go build Krennic. I have been I have been a Palpatine like card in the in the card game like fanboy. Mm -hmm since destiny right the old solo palpatine you played he was by himself with his two like two big old dice mm -hmm. i loved that deck um i i took it to a couple of store championships and i don't think i won anything but man i it was fun to oh, play yeah. Yeah. i love that deck right and this is the first time i've seen anybody uh do this well with with like pure palpatine pure yeah. green it's like oh crap no i gotta build it yes <laughs> Because it's full of just giant Imperial units, so it's got my attention. Right? I yeah. love everything.